This video was intended to inform and educate the public. Welcome back to the Junkyard News. I'm your host, the Junkyard Dog, and in today's video, we're going to be highlighting a Leo officer named Hank Carter. Now, Hank Carter decided to double down on stupidity, or you might say double down on qualified immunity. In any case, we're going to be highlighting how he got himself in trouble again. Now, this Leo, Officer Carter, found himself in the midst of a lawsuit. A suspect by the name of Mr. Smalls had accused him of excessive force using his department-issued flashlight as a weapon and striking Mr. Smalls in the face, breaking bones. This federal lawsuit filed by Rodney Smalls claimed former Deputy James Hank Carter III used excessive force that led to him losing consciousness during his arrest. Now, this happened after he led deputies on both a car and foot chase. Now, Carter did receive a reprimand related to the incident, but for abandoning his canine in a yard and driving infractions that took place during the car pursuit. Now, in the complaint, Smalls argues that Carter had beat him with his department issued flashlight repeatedly when he caught up with him after the pursuit, which involved Smalls jumping out of a moving car and scaling fences and walls. Now, Carter denied using his flashlight in this way, but in a deposition stated that he had tackled him and did not give verbal commands prior to the confrontation. But a court ultimately gave the officer qualified immunity because body camera video was so crappy, you couldn't make out anything. And even Mr. Smalls admitted that possibly due to a concussion and the broken bones in his face, he didn't remember much about that evening, and it was all speculation on his part. So the court ended up granting Leo Carter qualified immunity, stating that there was no evidence in the record of excessive use of force, and this might have emboldened Officer Carter in the future. And his medical records also show he had a broken facial bone but did not indicate where the injuries resulted from. Now Carter's body camera was submitted as evidence in this case, but it's noted in court documents the footage is difficult, if not impossible, to see at times. And what you're looking at is a screenshot of that video. Now the court found there was a lack of evidence overall to prove that Carter had used excessive force in this case or violated Smalls's constitutional rights as it's not seen in the video and Smalls had no memory of the incident. Because now we have a case where once again Officer Carter has found himself facing two different courts. One is he has been charged with not only deprivation of rights but also assault. You see, at the time, this Leo, Hank Carter, found himself in a pursuit where an individual decided they did not want to pull over during a traffic stop and ended up leading officers on a short chase. Now the suspect, whose car got impaled on some wooden spikes inside what looks like a mobile home park, jumped out of the car and after a short pursuit tripped and fell allowing Carter to catch up and find the suspect on the ground. Now once higher ups looked at the body cam and saw the video they had no choice to suspend him and it didn't take long for them to fire him. You see what you're about to see is Officer Carter who just got away not too long ago in a case of police brutality and excessive force and was given qualified immunity, decided to double down on stupid and claims that the suspect who was on the ground started reaching for his waistband when he decided to issue what some may state as a little street justice. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Carter thought himself the punisher and decided to punish this individual for not pulling over right away and submitting to the whims of these officers and decided to yell, quit reaching, even though you can see the guy's hands in front of him and, you guessed it, decided to issue some street justice of his own. There was no hiding it, no denying it. Once the higher up saw the body cam video, they knew what was going to transpire and they let him go. 
And now Carter is facing assault and deprivation of rights charges in court, as well, I'm sure, as a lawsuit in this new excessive force case. And I'll tell you, we're going to show you the body cam and it's irrefutable. Anybody that watches this body cam video, there is no way at all that you can say it was justified. So I'm going to show you a news clip of the situation to give more context to what's about to transpire in the next sequence where I will show you the body cam video. And I want to see your comments down below of this video and let me know, do you think in any way possible Carter's actions were justified or do you think he possibly thought himself the punisher and he was going to dish out a little street punishment of his own? Comment your thoughts. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Here's a news clip. And then after that, we're going to proceed directly to the new body cam video that was released. Thanks again for watching the Junkyard News. I hope you enjoy this footage and we'll see you in the next video. And I reached out to both the attorneys for that deputy and Rashard Duncan, the man who Carter was seen assaulting on video leading to criminal charges. Now, Joseph Canarella, who represents Carter, responded to our request for comment, stating in part, quote, officers spend most of their days battling with career criminals who have complete disregard for our laws and despise the police. So if an officer doesn't have complaints filed against them while on the job, they are probably not doing their job. And Marvin Pendarvis, who represents Rash Duncan, uh, Richard Duncan said what happened to Mr. Duncan was not an isolated incident and former Deputy Carter was a ticking time bomb who should not have been on the streets. It speaks to the hiring and training practices of the Sheriff's Office and proves why a further, more thorough investigation is necessary. <laughs> Man, that's why. Hey, I, put on my fucking pants. I don't give a shit what you're reaching for, dude. <laughs> Negative, just one person. <sighs> I think you slick. Enjoy that little nap. Enjoy that little nap. Because you're reaching your fucking waistband. Man, come I ain't on, playing man. with no damn gun, boy. Man, you know me personally. Yeah. No, look at me. Yeah. You know me personally. You know yeah. I play with no gun. I don't give a fuck. You think I'm supposed to I'm a, just wait? I'm wait. <laughs> Where do you throw that dope out at? I think he learned. I'm gonna go back to the car, right? I'm gonna go back to the car.
go ahead, man. Yeah, I'll get you an address in just a second, dispatch. Fucking gnarly, dude. Whatever. It is what it is. You are watching newly released body camera video that shows a now terminated deputy beating a suspect unconscious after an October chase. This was shared by the Charleston County Sheriff's Office in the interest of transparency. The agency fired James Hank Carter immediately after reviewing that footage, which took place 19 days after the original incident. Videos uploaded by the Junkyard News are helped in part by viewers just like you. You can show your support for this channel by clicking the thumbs up, sharing our videos. Don't want to miss a video or a story? Make sure to check us out and like us on Facebook at the Junkyard News.